What's up you guys? It's Margot. I am back with another video. Tried filming this yesterday, but I had zero voice, so believe it or not, this voice is an improvement. I did a poll on Twitter about what you guys would want to see, and the majority of you out of 400 people said a essentials for a dorm room, what to bring to college. I just want to start off by saying a lot of these things are basics, but not necessarily things that I thought of. There's going to be more things, obviously, that you like need, but these are the things that you might not think of initially. Sorry. If you're unsure if you need something and you don't really trust me, totally fine. Every school is different. But just maybe put it on a list and make a target run when you get to school. I did that. I honestly didn't bring that much because I hate like clutter. So my decorations are pretty minimal. I'm going to do a video of what not to bring because I think that can also be really helpful. But these I think are things that are actually really good to bring to college. And yeah. Let's just get into the video. One is a towel wrap. So these are just like Velcro things you can get. Mine's from Target or a robe, but it's very important to have one if you're going into like back and forth from the shower. Unless you have a shower in your dorm room, which is pretty rare for freshmen. I'm really jealous if you have that. Then you're gonna be bringing your shower caddy. I have the wrap around thing so I don't have to hold it. And then I have my towel for my hair after the shower. Next is a mattress pad. This is so important. Make sure you got one that fits your bed or else it will like shift off the bed and it's very frustrating. I got mine from Target. Like it can literally be from anywhere, but you can't just sleep on the like mattress it's so uncomfortable this is also kind of random but i wish someone told me this because i don't have this but try to find a shower caddy that you can hang up because there's usually going to be hooks outside of showers and mine is plastic so i have to put it on the ground which is honestly kind of disgusting not that i'm like putting the bottles on my body but like I don't know, I would just feel better if I could hang up my shower caddy. Also, this is nice because if you like to listen to music when you shower or whatever, you can just put your phone in one of the pockets and listen to it that way. If you only have one that's on the ground, that's fine, but I just think I would prefer one that you could hang up. This is so important, I cannot stress this enough, but come to school with under the bed storage. I have like gray bins. I have one, I have my sweatpants in, two, I have like household items and three I have snacks in and it's so nice just to have bins. You're not gonna wanna like keep things like perfectly organized cause you're not gonna have time for that. But honestly, just having stuff for under the bed like that is prime real estate. Like you, think about it, like you have to fit all of your belongings in one like small space. I got lucky with how much space I have, but think about like you literally need, like what rooms you usually have, a kitchen, a mud room, like all these different places in your house that you can put stuff. When you move into a dorm, you have to fit all of your belongings in like a quarter of probably the room of your home. Just be smart about like what you can put under the bed is what I'm trying to say. This is so important. Like regardless of what school you go to, bring fans to college because it is going to get so hot in the summer. We don't have air conditioning because I go to Syracuse. You don't really think about that. But fans are so incredibly important because I would literally take like three showers when it was warm out because it just gets so hot. So to have a fan that you can just put different places in your room is crucial. Bring a fan to school. Something that's also helpful is to have like a small close-up mirror for when you do your makeup. My mirror is on the other side of my desk so I don't want to lean over and have to do my makeup. It's nice to just be able to have one. Um, also, if your vanity is higher, it's nice to just like be able to stand there and use it right there. This is so important to bring an eye mask and earplugs. Even if you and your roommate are like best friends, you're going to be on different schedules sometimes and if they need to do work or if they're up at night or if you can hear people in other rooms, you're going to want to shut that out if you're trying to go to bed. I know it's really dorky to wear earplugs, but it has saved me for so many nights and I just really like having them. Bring a lot of quarters. If your laundry takes quarters, I've gone through so many quarters. It takes 12 quarters to do one load of laundry here. So it might be on a swipe system for your school, but you're just gonna be safe if you bring a lot of quarters. Bring reusable water bottles because it is ridiculous the amount of people that just go through plastic water bottles. I've done this a few times and I hate doing it, but if you have a reusable water bottle that you can just wash in the sink, it's so helpful and it's obviously so much better for the environment and you're saving so much money and like there's going to be water fountains everywhere on campus also bring healthy snacks to school because you're going to end up snacking in your room you're going to need to snack sometimes if it's like late at night and you haven't eaten or for whatever reason i like to keep rice cakes and almond butter and 
just like healthier chips or popcorn just because like I like snacking and it's nice to have that in the room instead of soda have seltzer and like juices whatever like it's just nice to have that stuff but make sure the snacks that you do have are like a healthy alternative because you're going to end up eating it and you don't want to regret like feeling gross after I know that this can be kind of hard and it's expensive but if you can bring a printer to school I've talked to my friends about this and it saved us like though a lot of my submissions are online some of my bigger papers are on the printer and I'm making last minute changes and I'm not gonna want to have to run down to the printer room like in the basement my printer actually came with my computer so I like jumped on that deal from Apple they're probably not the same thing next year if you can get that then definitely do that or like have a friend that has a printer because it will literally save you something that's so important is not extension cords but the plugs that have like 10 outlets in it because you're gonna need that you only have so many outlets on your side of the room so that's very important for clothes one sweatpants because you're not gonna want to care what you look like when you go to class and I wear sweatpants all the time I'm wearing them right now and you're gonna sleep in them and live in sweatpants so invest in like five pairs of sweatpants and bring shoes that you don't care about getting dirty um for me I wear sneakers out all the time like that's what people wear when they go out here and my sneakers are trashed if you have me on snapchat I'll insert the picture my adidas are just like dead I need to throw them out but bring sneakers that you don't care about getting ruined or heels honestly because like you might go to frats or whatever in heels and they will get disgusting so say your farewells before you wear them out and just don't have to worry about that like don't bring like only nice shoes to school because if you're gonna plan on going out they're gonna get ruined something that you need if you're going to college are one of these like case holders i know this one's pretty ugly but your school's gonna probably even give it out at the beginning of school like you don't even have to buy them i have six cards in here right now and i use every single card in here you're not gonna want to carry around a wallet everywhere you go like Every place that I go, I need this. I have my debit card, I have my ID. I have like a gift card that I use all the time. Student ID you're always gonna need. Like you just are gonna need one of these. Everyone that I know has this or they just put it in the back of their phone case. But when I did that, I ended up breaking my phone case and my screen shattered because the phone case wasn't like wrapped around my phone. So invest in these. You can get them on Amazon. Your school's gonna give them out, like use these. I don't have one of these, but my friend has a lap desk and she loves it and she said that I should put it on the list. So that's basically like if you're lying in bed, you can just like put a desk on your bed for if you're eating something or if you're working on your computer or watching a TV show. She really recommends it. I don't have one and it's fine, but like some people, it's really helpful. This is so important. If you are going to college, get a calendar because you are going to need it. You're gonna go insane if you don't have it. At least for me, like my life is in my calendar. It has all my things that are due, all of my social events that are coming up like literally my life is in this calendar and I would feel so unorganized if I didn't have it mine is literally from Target and I can just like write stuff in every day I think I'm gonna do a video specifically on like journaling and how I journal and like a calendar and everything if you want that but definitely get one of those if you're going to school because it will save you and it'll keep you very organized I think I got everything yay I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful I know I was talking quickly but my battery has been flashing at me for so long, so I'm so happy I made it through this. If you guys are in college, um, please comment down things that I missed, because I know I definitely missed some essentials for the dorm room. I hope this video was helpful. I wish I had a video like this before I went to school, so hopefully. I will be doing more videos about college living, whatever, if you want me to, so comment any requests, and I'm happy to do that.